Flowers and candles left at a busy intersection in the city of Alameda after Alameda County Supervisor Wilma Chan is hit and killed by a vehicle while walking her dog. I believe that Wilma will live on in all the lives of people she touched along her journey here. Uh, and there's so many issues that have benefited from her leadership. Tonight, friends and colleagues remembering Wilma Chan as someone who was dedicated to public service, a trailblazer, an advocate for children as well as the elderly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mike Meebeck in tonight for Frank Somerville. And I'm Julie Hayner. She spent 30 years in public service, including the last 10 as an Alameda County supervisor. The crash happened this morning near the intersection of Shoreline and Grand in Alameda. Police say the driver stayed on the scene and is cooperating with the investigation. KTVU's Jana Katsuyama is live now in Alameda and has the latest on this developing story. Jana. Julie and Mike, such a sad day today. Wilma Chan was taken from here to Highland Hospital, which is where she passed away. And if you take a look here at the scene where this all happened, people have been bringing little flowers, candles, just ways to remember this very well-loved leader. For three decades, Alameda County Supervisor Wilma Chan has been a constant voice in Bay Area politics. Her sudden death now leaves family, friends, and colleagues at a loss. Keith Carson, president of the Alameda County Board of Supervisors, say they lowered the flag outside the county offices to half staff. I'm in such a state of shock because she was so full of energy and, uh, and she exuberated that energy to everybody around her, you know, and she was sensitive and thoughtful and caring. Her staff say Wilma Chan was doing what she loved, out for a walk with her dog Maggie Wednesday morning in Alameda. But when she was crossing the intersection of Shoreline Drive and Grand Street, Chan was hit by a vehicle. Police say they found her in the roadway. She was taken to Highland Hospital with a serious head injury, and her staff say the doctors were not able to revive her. She died around 2.30 in the afternoon. Alameda police say the woman driving the vehicle was cooperating with police. A young Alameda college student told us his classmate was the driver and said she was in tears. He hopes the city will add a traffic light to make the intersection safer. It's terrible, the sun, it's just uh, right in the face. Uh, it would be great, it would be uh, much help if there were some lights. We need to give our young children an early start. Friends say Chan paved the way as one of the first Asian American women elected to the state assembly and other offices. She had secured $100 million in the state budget in order to uh, expand uh, preschool opportunities for toddlers. And then she was also able to get, um, you know, landmark legislation passed to make affordable health care. She's been compassionate. Uh, she's been relentless on those issues that she really care about. Um, children, making sure that food was uh, available to everybody. Smart, uh, funny, uh, a person who really cared about life. And Carson says his heart goes out to Chan's children, Darren and Jennifer, and their two grandchildren. The family is requesting privacy, but say they want to thank first responders and medical staff at Highland Hospital. Carson says that there is a board meeting scheduled for tomorrow. They decided not to cancel it, he says, because they want to continue to do the good work that Chan had been hoping they could do for the community, and it will give them a chance to gather together as they mourn and also celebrate her life. Julie. She was a trailblazer for so many. Jana Katsuyama in Alameda tonight. Thank you.